Hey y'all, welcome back to another amazing fishing video while I'm down here in Florida. So today is just gonna be a regular fishing video. I'm just gonna be using this Texas rig weighted little Senko worm. I don't know, I like it. It's got a chartreuse tail, it's pretty cool. This is the packaging, it's Strike King. If you want some, link will be down in the description. So go hit yourself up with some. All right, so fortunately it's not as windy as it was last time. So that's fantastic. What the? This keeps happening with this reel. I don't think there's enough lion on it. I don't know why the reel keeps doing that. It's been doing that for the past like two days. It's actually been kind of chilly down here. I mean, eh, 40s. 40s for Florida, I mean, and we're also really, really far down south. So, 40s is kind of chilly for down here. So these bass are a bit iffy today. We had some storms roll in yesterday, so. So I don't really know how these fish are gonna fare that well today. But we're giving it a shot. We're getting her done. But yeah, like what I said, I love Texas drinking a Senko because it has the salt in it that keeps it floating. It keeps at least one side of it floating towards the tail where the chartreuse is. That allows uh, the fish to kind of look at it and allow it to be kind of sticking up from the bottom and not just laying on the ground. Was a fish. Oh, he let it go. No, he had it. Come on, come back for it. Man, he was tugging it too. There's a fish. Yo, you have to be kidding me. They like take it for a second and then they just drop it. What the? Yo, he took my freaking worm. Oh my. This goober. I can't believe he just stole my worm like that. What a jerk. Hopefully he's still there. So I could maybe get my worm back. Oh. There's a fish. I'll get over in here. I've literally, I've got a salad. I just caught a salad. You have to be kidding me. No wonder he didn't fight. I thought this was like a catfish or something. But are you gonna flop around now? There you go. All right, there we go, he's very cold. Oh my God, look how fat he is. What the heck has this little guy been eating? He's been eating good, but basically no fight because he was just covered in salad. He was lettuce. All right, but let's get a release on this guy. Whoa, okay. <laughs> well, that was quite the, uh, <laughs> he was still a bit feisty. Well, there we go, there's first fish down. Hopefully many more to come. <laughs> he like, oh, he came off. He was small. That would have just been another salad time, so. We'll just call that an easy catch and release. I wonder where all the big fish are. They're all taking a nap or something. There's a fish. Oh. <laughs> Yes. No, dude. What's up with these fish and shaking off my, my worm? There we go. There we go. Another really, really nice and chunky fish. Again, they're eating pretty good in here. Very, very cold. He's nice. I, I do. There's a fish. Did anybody ever eat fish out of here? I wouldn't. <laughs> I don't know what they spray in here. Boy, they take them damn bait, don't they? I know. <laughs> they love it. See how fat fat they are, though? 
Yeah. They're eating really, really nice. That's really good. I don't know what they're eating, but they're eating something. <laughs> oh, here's my girl. Are they dead when he puts them back? No. no. Oh. They're they're fine. Okay. That was cool talking to that guy. Talking about fishing and stuff. Kind of reminiscing. But all the old memories I used to have. Fishing on Lake Lanier and down the Chattahoochee River and stuff like that. That was pretty cool. I'm coming back over here to this tree to get my revenge on that one bass that took me twice because he's not getting away with it. But yeah, back here you could literally just throw a worm in here, not even a second after it hits the water and you've got a nice slab of a bluegill on or a red-eared sunfish or anything like that. But unfortunately some guy had to come in here and pour this white liquid in the water that killed off all the grass and the bluegill and some bass and all this stuff. There's nothing we could do about it now except try and rebuild this pond. Hey guys, it's been a couple of hours. I had to go drive my grandfather around, He'd go do some chores, but we're back out here. Switched on over to this little crankbait deal, little square bell, kind of looks like a, uh, a little bass. So we'll use this, see if I can't slam on some big ones, but let's give her a shot. There's a fish. There was another bass right behind him. There we go. He's not bad at all. There we freaking go. Another nice bass right there. Again, an absolute chunk. So, <laughs> I love fishing like this. Just catching these nice, I don't know, maybe two pounders. It's fun. I find it fun. I don't know. It's just a me thing. I'd rather catch more kind of smaller fish than just catch one big fish because that's just how I'll be happy. So let's watch this little guy go. <laughs> let's go. Another one down the hatch. Oh, I watched that happen too. He was a small little guy. <laughs> Glad to see that they're that aggressive. Oh, there's a little tiny bass. <laughs> oh, there were two fish. One swiped at it and then another one tried to grab it. There we go. Oh, oh. he does not like being hooked. No. Well, that was just an easy catch and release, right? That's all that was, okay? I'm gonna count that as a fish, right? 12 seconds later. That's all right. There's another one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? We're enjoying the wildlife. Yeah. Okay. Would you mind fishing down farther? Sure. Okay. We're the All right. I have All right, I'll move down. Okay. He's a nice little guy again. Again, a very, very fat. Glad to see that. What? There he goes. I'll move down for this lady so that I don't bother her. I guess I'll just walk all the way back around the pond. Hey, y'all. So, oh, God. So, we're going to be back out here fishing. I decided to go in because my GoPro died. <gasps> Duckies! What does that old lady have have to tell me to leave? I don't have to leave. My grandfather actually told me the reason why he bought this place down here is for me and my cousins to be able to fish and have this fun. Oh! <laughs> I'm sitting here talking. <laughs> of course, my pliers are inside. So we're gonna take a trip to get my pliers. But there we go, another stoked out fish. Really freaking fat. Oh my gosh. Like super freaking fat. And he just bit me. That's great. All right, see a little stinker, I guess. Oh, thought that was, oh. I'll basically make my way back all the way around the pond. 
And if that lady's out there, then that lady's out there. I don't really care. I'm gonna fish it because it's a amazing fishing spot. You fishy, fishy, fishy. I know you wanna be caught. There's one. Up in here. Let's freaking go. He is, oh my God. You are actually a freaking chunk. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Look how freaking fat he is. Dude, these fish are not skipping out on eating anytime soon. Absolute beauty. Love these fish. Would catch them all day, every day. What I need to do is I need to go back out to one of those ponds just filled with Oh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> but like I'm saying, I need to take a ride over to one of those bluegill ponds, just take a bucket and just slam on some freaking bluegill. What I need to do is catch some massive ones, some big breeder ones that won't be killed off immediately when they're put back in here. Oh, <laughs> I jumped the gun on that one. I felt, I felt something tug it. And I just jumped the gun with that hook set. Oh, you son of a gun. Oh, you son of a gun. What the? I'm guessing these bass like it right in front of this like entrance to this cove. I don't know how, how these fish work. I just know how to catch them. I'm skidding them. Oh. <laughs> oh, yikes. Hey, buddy. There we go. Hello, little guy. Chomping on some crank baits. I could sit here all day doing this. I love <laughs> I love fishing and catching small fish like this. They don't have to be big five pounders. I mean that's great sometimes, but even catching these these nice three, four pounders. <laughs> these nice little two, three pounders are nice every once in a while. Cause it allows you to kind of relax. Catching these fish shouldn't be strenuous i don't believe at least fishing shouldn't be a strenuous thing it should be very calming relaxing and give you little rewards like this little little tiny rewards like this just that just allow you to be like hey good job you caught a little bass like this sweet a little chunky bass let's get this sucker back in the water yoink I think that was a fish. I don't know. Could have been. Could have not have been. Oh! <laughs> These boys are scaring me. Never mind the bass being spooked. I'm being spooked. Kind of figured that coming out here. Once, once, oh my, mm. Once the sun is set behind the trees and the buildings that it would get nice and cool and that these fish would be out. Looking for some easy meals. This thing is swimming sideways and I don't really appreciate that fella. Can you please not? I caught a bobber. Hmm. Well, whatever it is, I'm going to set that right there and I'm going to take it back and throw it away. Oh, you lucky son of a gun. There we go. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, buddy, stop it and everything's going to be all right. There we go, again. Little, little chunky little fella. Time for him to go back into his humble abode. Oh, hello. I'm like barely holding this. I was just letting him sit there for a second. He's actually not bad. Now this is definitely a not bad largey. He, again, is a bit of a chunk. And I think he may or may not be worthy of a hand release back into the water. He gave a pretty good fight. He's a feisty little guy. Let's get this sucker back in. Let him have his moment. There he goes. <laughs> I love doing releases like that too. I usually do it with every single fish, but some of them little stinkers kind of get annoying to do it with. <laughs> There's just so many freaking bass back in here. I'm telling you. Oh, that came out like, that was all about tension right there. Again, another beautiful, cold Florida largie right now in the winter. He's gorgeous. All of these fish are absolutely gorgeous. Nice little chunky fellers, little chunky monkeys. And they're all sitting right here. 
Fantastic. Oh, ho, ho. hey, hey, hey. That was grass. All right, well, we're gonna move spots. Okay, uh, first cast, a bite. Sick. <laughs> I, just, I just literally pulled this fish out of the water. <laughs> I feel bad for this little guy. His whole life just flashed before his freaking eyes. Oh, there's a big bass right in front of me. Oh, oh, I see him. I see a big boy bass. Yo, can this freaking bass just eat it? Hello? This sucker literally just pulled up on my crankbait twice. Well, I just got bit twice. I need these fish to stop biting and start being caught. Oh, he almost pulled the freaking thing out of my... Easy catch and release. Again, there we go. Live and you learn. Oh, you son of a gun. I'm coming after you. Oh, you... He had it. He had it in his mouth, and I yanked it out of his mouth. Come on, you big dummy. Where are you? Oh, just... Mm, mm. Okay, listen, pal. We need to... We need to talk about something really quick. Why am I not getting any bites now? Maybe I should reel it in slower. That might be the ticket. There we go. I am bad at fishing. Ooh, let's start dancing, dude. I I freaked out. I it hit. I set the hook and this part right here went under my arm instead of staying right here. So when it went under, it was like doing this and my wrist was the only thing that was keeping it from moving. So I lost tension and it came off. I'm not that happy of a camper about that one. You son of a gun, I swear I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna beat this fish up when, it come, when I catch it. I swear, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat this fish up. The noceums are starting to come out. I'm getting bit in the back of my neck, my hands. This is not fun anymore. Second. There we go. You're not getting away from me, fella. Oh, he got away. No, you listen here. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I know you guys can't see him. You can kind of see him from there. He's a bass, not big, but a little bit chunky and he's getting back in the water and I'm done. 